These motherfuckers take potions? Do they all just take a shit ton of potions? Yeah. They're all so low. If I was any of their Pokemon in the game, I'd probably solo them. Or they're just inting into me. Or these players are really bad. Leave, leave, please leave. I'm begging you to leave. They're bad. They're bad. We're better gamers. I may have blown my entire load and I will pay the price. Ooh, psych or will kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Nice. Nice, I'll take it. I'll take it. Can't complain except Sylveon's dunking on us from the back, I guess. Uh Mangle, thank you for the prime two months. Appreciate you. Take that. Not hanging around for that one. Damn, I wish they would have let me do my stun before. I wish Espeon would have let me do my stun before they went all uh hit their big move. Why can't I there we go. It's like why can't I take Shadow Ball? Look at the level, man. I get so much level from not taking the monsters. It's actually really gross. I thought I had Astonish still. Whoops, that's my fuck up. Do we just not have a jungler? Oh, we might lose this if we just don't have a jungler. We got Rotom. How did we get Rotom? When, how, and why did that happen? There's four top. We got Dreadnought, surely. go there's so many people up here I feel like I'm gonna fight motherfuckers for 45 minutes ooh we hit level 9 okay, I'm gonna rotate bot for dread I'm gonna rotate bot for dread I got unbound that Charmeleon was moonwalking? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Alright, I left top for one second. Let's see if they can hold their own. Uh, they died immediately. They died immediately and then called for forfeit. I left top for a split second to go get the important objective, and they died immediately and then called for forfeit right away. As far as I was dunking on us? As, as I just casually walked past us, I guess? Oh, except he's not dunking. I think he fucked up. I think he fucked up the button. Maybe he hit it too many times.
We should really go do Dreadnought. Well, I killed two of them. That should be it. Maybe that uh, healing one would be good, but I just like EXP share so much. I don't think I got Dreadnought, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Big. Big. Huge. Charizard's dead. That double shadow ball is so nasty. Uh, they have more than me, so let her get hers off. They'll be on. Oh fuck! Fuck, dude, he came out of nowhere. He's big. He's big. What up, uh, Neil? Been playing this game for a few days. I just got back into it today. Just got back into it today. A whole lot happening, and then we got Zapdos coming up. Fucking Greninja's gonna put up 50. Ugh. Talonflame is also putting up 50. Alright, Greninja can't hurt anything else down there. Fuck. The final stretch. Espeon just popped all oh, shit. We needed that. Oh, y'all fighting in the pit? Because my team will be here any second to help. Where are they? How is... It's so consistent that I will have teammates who are somehow not in, around, or near the fighting, but also simultaneously finding ways to die. And it's like, how do you keep doing that? You're not near the fight. I don't even know where you find a place to kill yourself at in this game the way that they do it, because they're not near anyone doing damage. Like, are they- are they dying to jungle monsters? Are they- are they walking over? Are they getting 1v1 by Rotom or something? Are they walking up to Rotom? And just getting themselves fucking killed on Rotom because they're not near anybody or anything. Everything important was happening at Zapdos. And all of my teammates, who none of which are near Zapdos at all, found a way to die. Like, they literally had to have got their ass kicked by an Audino or something. How do I make the forfeit call? What button do I hit for that? Plus and setting. Hit plus and then minus and then X. Just so. Just so. Especially because we were fucking running lane domination. I don't think we had a jungler though. I don't think we had a jungler at all. Um, I can do one more. I can do one. I don't want to go out on that one.
That owl Pokemon must be bad. I thought he was popular. I haven't seen him yet, but when we were playing earlier, when I was playing with Nick and Nexus, we saw him a lot. He's good. I think it, I think it's just happenstance that we haven't actually ran into him. Then me with a Blastoise. Yes, this is like the dream comp. Yeah, Decidueye's good. It's weird. It's weird that we haven't seen him, but I was getting him earlier, and he's he's really good. He does a. Uh, he just kills you from off screen by doing a zillion damage per shot. That's my experience with Decidueye. It's like, you'll be minding your own business farming bees or something, and then you'll just get... You'll, you'll have half HP, you'll be like, yeah, I'm farming bees, I have the eject button, I'm fine, and then fucking an arrow will just fly in from off screen, and just, then you die. Later tomorrow, have a good night, man. Blastoise is great for defending and supporting. I think with both of us being range, and then me being able to give him a shield, and then when he gets rapid spin, like I can just give him a shield and shadow ball off him and stuff. It just I feel like Blastoise has gotta be a top Hoopa lane partner. Take the fucking- oh my god, I was gonna lose my mind. Oh, Cinder is here. Land three balls, but whatever. Still standing by my plan, that trick is it. Oh, my God. I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it. Uh, I don't know if War Turtle has them on cleanup. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we got him. We actually destroyed the goal zone, nice. Oh, I would have liked it level six. I did hit level six. Yeah. A little bit of damage. Yeah, I'll be petty. I'll be petty. I'll flash for that. Um, they're on Dreadnought. I'm going to go bop. Oh, we got Dreadnought. Nice. Um, 
I'll steal a kill. You know me. Fuck, I wasn't close enough to give him a shield. Espeon, can you fuck off, dog? What the fuck? Really, my truck's going bot. Oh, I guess he's... He's jungling. He's jungling. It's fine. I just died with a lot of ball. I wish I would have got to dunk. Well, I wish one of us would have got to dunk. We would have broken the top goal. It's fine. It's fine. I have... Did I have ult in that fight? I might, I might be stupid. I bet I had ult in that fight and I just fucked it up. EXP share Hoopa might just be it. Just give your laner a huge fucking advantage that you don't have and it's fine because... Your Hoopa? You're gonna be strong anyway? Fuck, dude. Three of them? Man, I saved Blastoise. Still have ult. What are they doing? Where it, like... In my head, I think, and this is this is where I fuck up. This is where I fuck up ten times out of ten. In my head, I think I have teammates. They're nearby. Surely, by the time I get a full fucking Hoopa Unbound combo off, right? They'll exist. And then I look down on my my champ is in the like opposite end of the universe, hitting an Audino. I was like, oh shit! All right, my fault. My fault for thinking otherwise. We got the Dreadnought. We got the Dreadnought. No, their Ma Champ punched it. Ours didn't. Okay, well. Damn. Damn, I thought for sure he would have wanted to get the Dreadnought. Keep rotating and praying. I guess Blastoise is up here while 90 people dunk on our base. It's a weird choice for him. Thank you for contributing all nothing to that Rotom kill. They will now score seven zillion points on us. Rotom, just go in the fucking thing. Rotom, just go in the fucking thing. Rotom, just go in the fucking thing. I don't have any points. I was mashing ZR so fucking heavy, dude. I wish it would have gone off. Actually, no, I don't. It's better than stuff for Baptos. Hoopa can pretty much declare a team battle. Yeah, you just need a team, though. It's like, that's my downfall. Like, I, I just need people who are like, oh, the hoop is fighting for Dreadnought. Maybe we should react to this. But none of them think that. Are we really in the lead? It didn't feel like it. I have to be the lowest level in the team, which means I should be gaining the most passive experience. He ult? I think he ulted. Yeah, he ulted. Now I must ult. In theory, this should have locked us up, Zapdos. Oh, we got Dreadnought. We can kill Espeon here. Okay, Espeon ulted and backed off. Get a Blastoise kill. I think we just lost. Maybe.
I took that from Blastoise. I'm so dumb. Well, it would have been close. Actually, if he gets his 50 off, we're good. He got the 50 off. Um, It's going to be close. This is, this is a tight finish. We have to go dunk. We have to go dunk again. I think we lose. I think we, I think we just lost a close one. We were winning, and then Blastoise and I got a lot of points off. Old oh, what the fuck? I want the replay. You guys saw me walking in mashing ZR. I put up my fucking trick, and I was mashing ZR, and then I kept walking in and kept mashing ZR. Never got stunned. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. We weren't going to score off that anyway. Everyone's dead. But I like. I was like, yeah, any second now, I'll just turn into Hoopa and Bound, and then she just never did. I don't know if that... Was that a switch thing? Did I get lagged? What was that? This is a close loss. Yeah. Yep, knew that shit. Knew that shit. Fuck, I just man, we're gonna we're gonna get one team that reacts. It's gonna be so fucking good when it happens. We're gonna get one team that reacts and knows how to play. It's gonna be so good. So this is this is the biggest problem with Unite, and it's it stood true. Because uh Unite Pokemon, Pokemon Nintendo, Nintendo Switch, uh Nintendo's the babies, right? Is the the thought train. And this isn't like every other ranked game ever, where if you win, you go up, and if you lose, you go down. So, this game rewards you for playing a fuck ton, and that's it, right? Like, winning is winning is a nice touch, but really playing a fuck ton. Normally, what happens in these ranked games, uh, like League, for example, is when you win, you gain points. When you lose, you lose points. If you want to go up a tier, you hit something called promos, and you have to win two out of three. And that's, and like, more winning you have to do. On the flip side, if you're about to derank, you can get down to zero LP, or in this case, it'd be like zero pips, and then you can lose one or two before it'll demote you, but you have to lose a couple in a row, typically, before it'll kick you down. Um, I'm gonna go bot. This game doesn't do that at all. This game... It's so fucked. Uh, every time you go up a class, it gives you a free pip. So you just get an extra win for free. On top of that, they give you the sportsmanship points for winning and just playing the game in general, where you can't de-pip if you have over 100 points, and if you get more than three or 400 points, you get two free wins, right? So you can climb to Masters in this game with a 40% win rate. You could have like a 35 or a 40% win rate in this game, but as long as you keep playing a bunch, you'll climb. So what happens is, is you get people like me who I was Masters before. I got there with an average of a 60% win rate on all the champs I played. It was 60 to 70% on all the champs I played. But I got Masters before, so I kind of know what I'm doing. But now I'm in here. If that Gengar skin would load, it would look really cool. Um, now I'm in here, and I'm playing with people who are stuck in Veteran, who've been playing it for three weeks, however long this season's been out. Um, So I'm stuck in here in Veteran with people who have barely been able to climb to Veteran even though they've been playing for the last three weeks probably, right? So these people are bad and they don't belong here, but because the game doesn't actually punish you for doing poorly because there's just so much fucking forgiveness. Damn, I should have pinged I was going bottom or something. Okay, that's just guessing. Guessing. Take it. Take it. Fuck, they got the middle one. They hit their shit before us because this dude just refuses to do this stuff.
I also don't think a lot of people know how to play around EXP share. Not that they would or should know I can have it. So I see getting, like, being nice at first. But when you see me give it to you, like, the first four times, just take the fifth one, man. Why did that thing evolve into a fucking... It, it grew a hat. Oh my god, she's so low. I'm gonna heal up by now. Tried to give him a berry. Take the berry. Take the berry. Take the berry. He wants to give them free shit so fucking bad, dude. Why start it? Why start it, fucko? If he's gonna watch my ass get jumped. Hey, you stand there looking goofy. So anyway, we have players who, like, never had to learn, like, they never learned the game because they never had to. Because as long as they just kept ramming their head into the matchmaking over and over again. Eventually, they just find themselves climbing to this rank somehow, and that's just how it is. Damn. So that's the Sidui, by the way. If you noticed, I just died from some random arrow that came off my screen. That That's the Sidui. That is how I operate. A ball. Why am I in trouble? Hey guys, should we try to defend Dreadnought or are we just gonna stand around? In there, Hunter. Get in there, Hunter. Get in there, Hunter. Oh, I guess we're just letting him have Dreadnought. We got Rotom, though, so. so. If you notice, I just died from off my screen. As you can see, there's no Decidueye on my screen, but I just fucking exploded anyway. That's Decidueye. That's what Decidueye does. Matchmaking still feels better than Smite. Thankfully, I don't know what Smite matchmaking feels like, so. I do have that going for me. It could always be worse. He should be a higher level than he is by a lot if my EXP share is working properly. Base Gengar, that's big. Base Gengar, that's big. Decidue AKA Jin, I was actually thinking the same thing, yeah, I'm sure it's a common. I like this dude, he's just a big fucking rock that fires cannons. Like, that's kinda chill. Um, I need level 9 desperately. This is a... I, I don't desperately need it, Dreadnought's already gone. He broke the game upon release, he got nerfed. Relax, what are you doing here? Oh shit, big boy showed up. I'm gonna take this so I have unbound Hoopa for Dreadnought fight. Is the plan. Now if we gotta throw hands, we can throw hands. And my team, who definitely cares about Dreadnought, will show up here soon, right? They're not gonna make me stand here and do everything myself? That'd be fucking weird if they did that, clearly. At least they're getting Rotom on the top side, right? They lost Rotom. 
You want my shit? Did he ult? I think he just ulted. What up, Ready Player Geek? How you doing? I guess we didn't get Dreadnought. <laughs> Am I not doing enough? Is it me? Where am I coming up short at, I wonder? Okay, so you just saw that fucking nothing fly from the other side of the universe? Uh, that was the Sidious just hit me with one for the road. Thanks to see you playing. Hey, thanks, Kaba. Have a good night, man. Me to level 11 and him to level 12. Oh shit, team got kills in bot. We're gonna get there too late. Should've rotated top. Cause they're all gonna jump bot now, yep. Well, you know what? No, this is good. We might be able to turn this fight around when we get here. We're gonna have to ult, yep, there it is. We bursted him down, we burst out of Snorlax. Hoopa's good. I, I'm bitching a lot, but like, Hoopa's good. Uh, Gengar dying is bad. The final stretch. Wow, they didn't care at all. Wow, nobody on the team rotated with me. Wow, we just watched them win the game. Wow, you could do everything right and nothing fucking matters. Can I attack this thing? I guess the thing is just infinitely faster than me and heals more than I can damage it. I guess you can't actually just attack that thing. We're losing. I can't fuck- just dunk? Oh, he disappeared off the earth. Oh, he didn't disappear. He took my shit too late. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Didn't kill him. Fuck. Fuck, dude. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Nothing I do matters, man. Nothing I do matters, man. Nothing I do matters because when Zapdos comes up, they just don't rotate to it. They just pretend it doesn't exist. Zapdos, what's that? That probably doesn't even matter in this game. I thought about it, but we're in veteran rank 4 plus, so Zapdos probably isn't even that important. How much HP does Hoopa Unbound get? I may have to switch off. I really like the EXP share idea, but I think I have to do it when I know I have a teammate. I like at least one. You lose. Just fucking shoot me in the mouth with a fucking gun instead of giving me these people again. Why? Why would they bother? Why would they bother? I'm surprised since release they haven't modified Zapdos. Oh yeah, me too. Me too. Um. Okay, let's. Let's stop relying on our teammates so much. Swap out. I am gonna miss the movement speed. I'm gonna miss the movement speed a lot. Um, let's go to focus. 
Let's go to focus. Each second for three seconds, it recovers 14% of the HP it had lost. Twenty-eight's good. I'll take twenty-eight. They did change that though. His break your zone technique used to be twice as long. That's actually a really good change. I like that. Oh yeah, and also. Uh... If you lose too many in a row, they put you in a game against bots. You just wash for free. So, like... Yeah, you can literally, on average, have, a, have like a 35% win rate. But between the bot games, the bonus pips, them not taking pips away when you lose, like, there's no... It's very hard to, to go backwards more than one or two. I have to imagine most people who play this game for longer than three weeks end up in Masters. I do not want to be with Aegislash. Or Eldegoth. I could be with Aegislash, it's just... I want to be with Cameron? I could be with Cameron. Big, gross little range duo. I'm into bed. Night, doodle. If you win, you're more likely to keep playing. That's not true. That's not true, because you know who has done the research on that? Riot Games. And Riot Games found out that if you win about as many as you lose, then you're more likely to keep playing and buy more skins for some reason. And that's why in League of Legends, there's a thing that exists called Loser's Queue. Where if you win too many games in a row, they'll put you in a game where you're almost forced to lose. They'll put you in a game where the other team just outskills you by a lot. But you're forced to take a loss every now and again, and it keeps the climb like a struggle. Because for me, for example, and why I don't think that what you said applies or works here. Um, for me, I hit Masters, and then I didn't play this game for 252 days straight. And I know that because when I turned the game back on, it said, hey, you haven't played in 252 straight days. You want to talk about it? But when I hit Masters, I stopped immediately. So I don't think what you said is accurate. It's definitely not accurate for me, but I don't think it's accurate like in general. I think Hammerant stole that. Yeah, it's big. He could use level two still. You're talking about House Hoopa. I actually love Hoopa, despite the despite the fact that we're losing most of these games. I do not think a lot of it is my fault. I know that's like the typical thing, but I don't think a lot of it is my fault. But 